Howdy. How we are here today to talk about Texas slang. And you know, a lot of people think that Texas slang is like dumbed down language, but I beg to differ. Yeah, that's Which not. is a Texas term, by the way. Is it? Yes! Oh. Beg to differ is Texas. No. Yes. Anyway, I beg to differ. <clears throat> Texas talk is actually just condensing things. We are being efficient. Wow, that's a good way of putting it. That's right. We're efficient. We're efficient. So, I mean, the number one word that I just used, y'all. You used it? I didn't. We just... Wow. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know. See, you don't even notice. You don't notice it. That's okay. right. So, y'all. Y'all. Y'all is you guys. So, you see how much more efficient that is? One word for two. Yep. One of my favorites, and not to be confused, this is holler. Not holler back. Not that, no. not, not the, the lower one. We want the real one, holler. holler. Like, you holler at me when you're ready to go. Yeah, holler. Holler when you're ready to eat. Yeah, in East Texas, where you know, I'm from, and Lisa's, what part of Texas? Did you say Central Texas for you? Yeah, Central. I mean, when they use the word holler, it's call me back or holler, and they really mean it, and then they say it like this, holler. Holler, yes, so, it's, and again, efficient. You don't have to say, are you ready? You just say, holler. Oh, that too, yeah, like that. Holler, yeah. holler. Okay, so this one is one of my favorites, and you are not a Texan if you don't use this word. Fixin' or fixin' to. So, I'm fixin' to go eat. So, again, efficient. I am about to go eat, I'm fixin'. Yeah, and you have people from not from Texas, whenever you say this, they'll say, what are you about to fix? Is something broken? I mean, come on, no, that's not fixin', what it means. Fixing, yeah, fixing to go do something. Simple. Highly efficient. This one I didn't even know was a Texas term. Tinkle. Tinkle. My mom always said that. I'm going to go tinkle. <laughs> I actually do not like that word, but yeah, it's Texas. Yeah, guys don't really say it. Yeah, no, I've known a few guys who said it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so this is absolutely Southern Texan. Bless your heart. Now this word, this can be used in many ways. It's like, well, bless your heart, because something good happened. Or, well, bless your heart, because oh, yeah, something, something bad really happened. bad happened. It's all about inflection. You must inflect appropriately. Now this one, it may look like a foreign word from another country, but it's not. Get her done. And he says this word still, we're in Colorado now, and he makes it crazy, get her done, and he says it just like that, say it again. Get her done. Get and her done. Y'all may have heard this from uh, some comedian that's really famous now, he uses it all the time, and he got it, he came from Texas, get so, her done. Okay, so but you said in a sentence. Um, well that is a sentence, get her done. That's true, you're just going to get it done. Just do it. Just get it done, again, highly efficient, one word. Yeah, that's a sentence. Okay, now here is... Absolute, I'm sorry, but this is a part of the Texas vocabulary that it's not necessarily slang, but you cannot, you're not a Texan if you've never said this. A long, any sentence that starts with a longhorn and an Aggie. A longhorn and Aggie. Or, or this one is absolutely, if you're a Texan, you've said this. An Aggie walks into a bar. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. yeah. You are not Texan. Yeah, if this doesn't. Yeah, yeah. You said that, or will say that, one time in your life. This one, one of my dad's favorites. Full as a tick. He always put the word Texas to kind of, you know. So it's a Texas tick. Texas. Because the Texas tick. Uh, everything's bigger in Texas. So full as a Texas tick. Yeah, it has to be a Texas tick. But what does that mean? Oh, it means um, well, just that that you're very full. Like you've just eaten a big meal. You've or, just stuffed your face. Yeah, you stuffed it and you're full. Yeah. Okay, so um, this is one of my favorites and I have used this one many times. Dumb as dirt. What does that Y mean? Oh, <laughs> I wrote dumb as dirty. Okay, it's supposed to be dumb as dirt. It can okay, go yeah. Than a <laughs> Where was my mind? Yeah. Uh, dumb as dirt. So this is like, you know, you just went through the cash register or the line, you know, at the store and it took you forever and we're done. You're like, he was dumb as dirt. Because everybody knows dirt is pretty dumb. D dirt has no brains. This one, my, I've said many times, and, you know, to reference my state of, you know, financial condition. Don't have a pot to piss in. You are pretty 
poor when you do not have... You don't even have a pot. You don't even have a pot. You have to use the dirt. <laughs> the dirt that is dumb. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so in Texas, when you say Coke, you need any soda, Dr. Pepper, whatever. I'm, I want a Coke. Um, so what kind of Coke? Because Coke is any kind of soda. It can be root beer, Dr. Pepper. It can be... Anything, yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize that that wasn't like a universal thing until I moved away from Texas. So a lot of these things I didn't realize until I moved away from Texas. Another one of my old man's favorite: sweating like a stuck pig. <laughs> that means you're really hot. Really. You come out of the gym and man, are you? I mean, in Texas. You can go check the whole, mail. And... Yeah, the whole thing about a Texas in Texas, everything you know is so hot. So you're sweating like a stuck pig. Yeah. Okay. Um, panties in a wad. Now, this is an important statement because you can say, if your boyfriend, husband, girlfriend, whatever, you know, girlfriend, whatever, <laughs> says, don't get your panties in a wad, and then this could be fighting words. Could be. Yeah. Don't get your panties in a wad. But, you know, if you're anywhere and somebody says this to you, yeah, yeah. probably going to be fighting I wrote down a couple of Spanish ones that I think, I'm pretty sure, are only Spanish slangs for people that are in Texas. Uh, Spanish speakers, Mexican, Chicanos, whatever you want to call them. Uh, these are words that are, they're not really appropriate words in the Spanish language. So they are, they are slang. Asina. Asina is like that. It's supposed to be just así. But somehow the last two word letters, N-A, got tagged on the end of it in Texas. and. Now you have a whole new word. And well, what does it mean? Like that. Like that. Or um, I'm going to do it like this, or this word will be, I'm going to do it asina. Or, you know, it's... But what's it supposed to be? Asi. Asi. Yeah. Okay. So I have buggy. This is a shopping cart. A buggy. <laughs> so I know some of you think of a buggy like um, old time, yeah, you know, yeah. but buggy, Porsche buggy is a shopping cart. Uh, another, my last Spanish one here is also Spanish. You might be able to get this one. Troca. What do you think it means? Troca, I have no idea. Oh, well, it's a truck. So it's really truck with an A stacked on the end of it. So truca, so troca. It's not really a, a word, it's supposed to be camioneta, but hey, you know. I'm tearing this apart for the Nexus. Okay, so <clears throat> I have said this so many times. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would not. Trust him as far as I could throw him. And if, and if he's a big guy, you really can't throw him very far. No. Yeah, that's a fact. No. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a fact. Um, <clears throat> also one that if a man says to you, he'll get you in trouble. A conniption fit. That's right. Do, are you having a conniption fit? Just stop having a conniption fit. This is equivalent to saying, calm down. And ladies, you know what that means. You do not say, are you having a conniption fit? You know, or you might be referencing somebody that you witnessed, they're having a, you know, issue in a store and they're going, that person was like having a conniption fit. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I love this one. So I'm... Ain't my first rodeo. Ain't my first rodeo. Ain't, ain't my first rodeo. Yeah, I remember in the day, back in the day when ain't wasn't even in the dictionary, it wasn't considered a word. Yeah. Now, it's in the damn dictionary. That's right. Mm. Ain't my first rodeo means that I've been doing this a long time. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I've been talking Texan for a long time. This ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our Texas slang part one. We have a whole lot more. Yeah, there's a lot more. So come back. Oh, subscribe, if you will. That way you'll know when part two comes. And don't forget that I'm an author, Lisa Renee Jones, buy my books. <laughs>